Thank you. Hi, can I get a medium dark roast black, please? Okay. And then a honey dip timbit, please? How many? Uh, just one. Anything else? And that's everything. Thank you. We can't always be trolling, guys. I don't want them to put rat poison in my coffee. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Look at that. Jacket <laughs> yeah. having, huh? Pardon? He having a jacket. Yeah, he has a lot of clothes. More <laughs> than me. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the video. So today I thought I'd just do a typical day in the life, take you through my entire day. Don't have a very interesting life, so I'll try to make it as interesting as I possibly can. So right now it is 9.45 and I have 10.45 Orange Theory. So I thought I'd just bring him with me for the pre-workout coffee. I'm gonna drop him home right now and then we're going to Orange Theory. I think I was at Orange Theory all done now guys. It is 1.15 in the afternoon and I'm doing some computer work. So for those of you guys who are new to the channel and wonder what I do for a living, I am a personal trainer. Today is just one of those days I'm just full of cancellations. So if you guys are looking to get into personal training, just know the hours that you work and the pay are pretty inconsistent on a week to week basis. But all in all, it is a very good and rewarding job. So the plan is to do probably computer work for another hour, hour and a half. And then I'm gonna go pick up my friends, Alex and Dylan. And then we're gonna go check out a new gym in the Toronto area called Fitness Elements. So it is a Friday, don't, I don't typically work out on a Friday, but since it's a new gym, I wanna see the new equipment that they have. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay guys, so we are here now at Fitness Element. It's a new gym here in Toronto. And I'm also here with Alex, D-Land, you've seen him before, but Alex is new here on the channel. So what are you guys doing at the gym right now? I'm gonna be hitting back. Back, what are you doing? Straight arms. Straight arms? So since it's my off day, I'm probably gonna go eeny, meeny, money, mo, catch it, blah, 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 you. So we're gonna be doing arms. Okay. So I had a subscriber send me this shirt here, Warrior Mojo, with this pretty sick graphic on the back. Awesome material, fits really well. Looks like I have like five pounds more muscle mass than I actually do. So the cool thing about this company that he said is that all the, some of the proceeds actually go to uh, military veterans. So pretty cool to uh, represent this. So I'll put the link in the description so you guys should check it out. Day ones, day ones, no time for fake ones. Got me, I got you. All dreams, they come true. Stay down till the end. Need me, I need them. Whole team go make M's. No time for fake friends. Yeah. Too many people be calling my phone, but I'll never be picking it up. Got everyone that I need in my circle. I'll never be going to switching it up Rocking with the people who were following me When I never thought it would have happened And I never got love Now they want to piggyback on everything I got I never knew one from the bottom But now I've had enough Please stay away Find a new hobby Cause you've been too close to my personal space Don't make me call out your names But I'll go there And you're gonna make me put you in your place I'm trying to put my whole crew in a race Came a long way from that minimum wage Funny how money be bringing out people Who never remember Alright guys, so the workout is all done Fitness Element is a sick gym So if you guys are in the Toronto area Definitely check it out But now I'm headed to Second Cup to get some coffee because even though you need the pre-workout caffeine you also need the post-workout caffeine that might be just me after i get the coffee we are then going to whole foods because we are making dinner tonight we are making homemade pizzas so i'll show you guys what i get all right butter pecan flavored coffee taste test he's baileys You know we have to. All right guys, so groceries all done and I got a snack for before we leave. We got a vegan donut. Um, my girlfriend actually said you need to heat them up in the microwave for 25 seconds. When I first heard that, I was like, the door is that way, but then I tried it and I was like, you can come right back in. So we got the vanilla one. Have a little taste test here. I sure. All right, gonna head home now, drop off the groceries, and then gonna go somewhere pretty cool, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so it is almost seven o'clock, and I'm gonna be doing an ice bath. I'm at Float Valley in Markham, and I'm here with owner Nadim. So what are we doing right now before we get into the bath? We're doing the Wim Hof breathing technique. Yeah. Um, it involves like a hyperventilation, basically. Um, it gets you ready, gets your body psyched up for the ice bath, but it also gets your pH levels up and down, which helps turn off your pain receptors and help us get into it. Okay. What you're going to be doing is you're going to start off with about 30 to 40 hyperventilation. So we're taking in a lot of oxygen, but you're releasing very little. So you're kind of going... So you're doing that, it's 
going to be almost hard to like keep pulling in, but once you get to about 20, 30 to 40, you'll start feeling kind of tingling in your body. And then once you get to that 30, 40 mark, you go slowly let out the air, close your eyes and hold your breath. And the idea is you want to just do two or three of those in total. Okay. So you can kind of just follow my lead. Remember at the end of when 30, 40, you let out your air slowly and sit with it. That's kind of how it goes. Okay, cool. Ooh, I held that way longer than I thought. Than you thought. You sure did. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Good nice stuff. Okay. That was sick. So now it's time for the ice bath. I wonder how. All right. So we are outside right now. What like what is the temperature right now? Uh, I think it's like zero. Yeah, it's like zero degrees in the middle of Canada, and we were doing the ice bath outside. Maybe some deep breaths and then go in. I do, I just go. No, not even thinking about it. Just go. Jesus. Not even thinking about it. So just go in and then make and all your breaths. Okay. The cold is your warm friend. Three. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Breathing. Doing great. Just looking at the timer. That's a massive shrinkage going on right now. <laughs> I'm starting to invert. My body's ringing. We just passed 40 seconds. How long should I go? Two minutes. How are you feeling? I, oh, I, can't, I can't miss. Feel okay? Yeah. Okay, keep breathing. Oh, I can't even feel my hands. Doing great. Keep breathing. Two minutes. Good. Oh, I feel it. I feel, oh. Ooh. You guys gotta give that a shot. <laughs> Can I like jump into a fireplace or what? <laughs> That was crazy, so my nips are so hard right now. I could probably like use them as a weapon and rob a bank. Don't think there's a more fitting shirt to be wearing right now. <laughs> Seek discomfort. The best things in life are out of the comfort zone. That was sick. You guys definitely gotta try an ice bath if you haven't. It's a uh, mind over matter for sure. All right, so now we have the big man doing it. He's gonna go in for how long? 10 minutes? <laughs> He's going in for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, just getting cocky now. Just kidding. <laughs> you I'll do dunk your head. Uh. One in, uh, one in two. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, one. Oh. You guys definitely have to like the video for that. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am back from the ice bath now and it's time to cook up some dinner. So I'm here with uh, Madame Caitlin and she is pushing out the dough for the pizza. We're making a vegan pizza because she is vegan. And then we also have homemade sauce simmering on the stove. And then, so what is going on the pizza is banana peppers a ton of mushrooms, that's actually quite a lot for that amount. And then, I don't know if you guys watched the cheat day video, but the mock chicken on pizza is amazing, so we tend to do it every single time we make pizza. And then because we are disgusting, two packs of cheese, and we're gonna put it together right now and show you guys the final product. Okay guys, so the crust, sauce, mushrooms, and uh, banana peppers are in the oven, and then we're like the dough crisp up a bit, and then we add the cheese and the chicken. So we've already had, what did we have today? So we've already had two donuts, two vegan donuts. We're basically at that point where, like, we, we just feel comfortable with each other that we just, we don't care if we get fat, so cancel our gym memberships, just bring on the donuts, and you're basically, we're stuck with each other, right? This is some food porn. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get flagged on YouTube. That's actually a lot of cheese. That's pretty gross. No. Don't say that. There's like even layer. Can you guys see? Like, that's that's actually thicker in cheese. Than it is. All right, here is the final product. This thing looks ridiculous. It is super thick. Like, wow. Perfectly cooked. Crust looks beautiful. Amount of cheese for like 25 people, but. Cheers. 
Oh my. Okay guys, so I'm about to go to bed now. Some of you guys have been asking that you wanna see what I put on my skin and my hair. So I thought I'd show you guys pretty quick. So I don't use a whole lot, but what I do every morning and night is I put tea tree oil on my face and I wipe it in with a cotton pad all over. Um, I bring this with me to the gym as well, very important with all the sweat. So after I do that, I then put on this Alba Botanica Hawaiian Moisturizing Cream. It is an all natural product. I try to use as many all natural products as I possibly can. So that's pretty much it for my skin. And then for my hair, what I use, I just use shampoo, conditioner in the shower. And then I use this Rough Rider uh, Moldable Styling Clay by Kevin Murphy. That, just mix it all in. And that's pretty much it. So gonna head to bed now, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.